Tennis is perhaps the healthiest of all recreational activities. However, it takes years to learn and you need athletic ability to cover the entire court. Maybe this is beyond your realistic expectations, particularly if you're over 50 or not athletically up to the challenge. Now there's an opportunity to enjoy all the fun, sociability, and exercise of tennis with minimal investment in time to learn the game. This comes with the onset of pop tennis, a way to play the game with a shorter racket on a smaller court with few of the impediments that make tennis difficult. Hi, I'm Spike Gonzalez. I'm Chuck Kenyon. Chuck and I have been playing tennis together since the early 60s, uh, but since we uh, met in Rochester, New York, back then we've been both coaching and teaching tennis for many, many decades. Now we've come across the game of pop tennis and are really enjoying promoting it here in Naples, Florida and in Quichi, Vermont. Both of our clubs, home clubs, have been really taken to pop tennis and they're having a lot of fun with it. It does a great job of filling court time, which will be vacant. Uh, this is not the 70s anymore. We've got tens of thousands of courts all over the country, and it's great to be able to fill them up. On a soft court, you can put down a line, a baseline, very easily. It's nine feet from the base line of a tennis court and nine feet from the surface, right in the middle. And that serves as your baseline for your pop tennis court. In pop tennis, you play with a much smaller racket than in regular tennis. Additionally, in pop tennis, you play with a what's called a green dot tennis ball, which is slightly de depressurized, as opposed to a regular tennis ball that bounces very high. There's tremendous advantages to both of these aspects in that in pop tennis, it's much easier for beginners to learn using a smaller racket and much easier to hit a ball that doesn't bounce quite as high as a regular tennis ball. Generally, the fun and exercise in any racket sport comes from the engagement in extended rallies. At all levels of play, the rallies and pop are exciting and long. Our pop tennis program at Wilderness has increased our court play by over 150% over the last year. In fact, so much so that we recently added tennis court lights to two of our courts just to help accommodate the play. The other advantage of pop tennis over pickleball is the noise factor. We have homes that are very close to our courts, so it's imperative to us that we contain that noise within the courts and it doesn't spill over into our residents. As general manager at Wilderness Country Club, I believe that pop tennis would be a terrific addition to any club. You can play on your existing courts, you do not have the investment of adding pickleball courts, and you certainly do not have the noise factor that's so imperative in their communities.